Hello everyone and welcome to First 20 here on Steven Plays. My name is Steven George, I play video games, and every Friday it's the first 20 minutes or so of a game. Today, thanks to the publisher sending over a code, I am very happy to show you Metal Wolf Chaos XT. Some of you have not heard of this game, and we're going to change that. At the bottom of the screen, you will see 2004-2019 from software. Yes, that from software. The folks that eventually would go on to create the uh, ever so popular and successful Dark Souls series. Uh, back in 2004, they were working primarily on Armored Core, and um, at the time, the Xbox was out in Japan, but really not doing so well. So Microsoft asked From Software to make a game for the Xbox, exclusively for the Xbox, and they did. And that game is Metal Wolf Chaos. This game is ridiculous. You play as the president in a mech trying to take down the vice president and the military because they have staged a coup. It is absolutely wild. Um, when and, and the game, the original game in Japan was actually completely English voice acted. And uh, so, so people have wanted to enjoy this in the West for themselves for 15 years. And only now is it getting done thanks to Devolver Digital uh, doing the localization and bringing it over for modern consoles. I'm playing this on PC, but it's also available on PS4 and Xbox One. Are you ready to jump in? Because I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to play this absolutely ridiculous game. Game saved. By the end of the first quarter of the 21st century, freedom was dead in America. Beginning with a large-scale military coup d'etat that erupted in various cities throughout the nation, the rebels seized power in all the central institutions of government. The entire nation appeared to have fallen completely into the hands of the coup d'etat forces. However, one final hope in opposing the coup d'etat forces remained. This final hope being the U.S. president himself. Michael Wilson, the 47th president of the United States, equipped with a special mobile armored ops suit developed in secret by the military, boldly waged his own personal war alone to take back America's freedom. My God, it's beautiful. It's almost as beautiful as bad dudes. Now, I know what some of you are Get saying. My special op suit, Joey. You're, prob you're probably saying, why wasn't this game ever released in the States, especially if it's about the States and is fully English voice acted? And uh, the reason is, it was developed for Japanese audiences, and then also all of the American publishers got cold feet over the fact that, you know, September 11th had just happened a few years prior, and terrorism was still on everyone's uh, mind, and, and uh, the talking points on the news. So they were a little worried about doing that. Scary, Mr. President. Mr. President, escape via the Eagle Star in the underground base. Now I'll open the entryway to the underground base. Please give your guests some face time with the commander in chief. So I am. I'm in my my mech here. I can. I can. They, uh, they didn't they didn't give me any sort of like tutorial here but right trigger seems to fire my right gun and the left trigger seems to fire my left gun which is a shotgun and of course this was the developer of armored core which is you know one of the reasons it's probably a mech game but it was absolutely trying to be an, an American game and one of the reasons this game is so uh, you know enjoyed is because it's the American patriotism is almost comedic because it's so over the top. Should probably be trying to take out the stuff. There's so many enemies. My god. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mr. President. Now this is a game I've never played myself, but I've uh, I've known about. The enemy are just lowly foot soldiers. Even if they aim at you and fire, they're no match for your special heavy mobile armor. <laughs> so kill all of them. Dear Lord. 5J. It's time to escape. I'm so glad that this game finally gets to be enjoyed. I'll be back. Because of, because outside of like 
just uh, you know some some let's plays uh, over the years and some Twitch streams of people playing this. Um, you know the the actual Japanese version of the game. Um, it hasn't been able to be widely enjoyed, and it's such a ridiculous concept. Let's see. So I can. There's all sorts of different things I can do here, and if I press start, I actually trying to figure out where my backpack is. Right, left. Okay. So there is, uh, okay, there it is. Weapon select, uh, okay. And you have limited ammo on all of this stuff, so you gotta be careful. So you can only hold two weapons at a time. Mr. President, there's an aircraft hangar beyond this passageway. Now let's hurry. The aircraft hangar is behind the barrier. I'll open the barrier now. Please wait a moment. Expecting someone to fight me. So the uh, the X button is kind of like this uh, super fast Whoa, dodge. Something quite dangerous awaits, but with missiles of that caliber, if you aim and fire, you should be able to easily shoot them down. Missile alert! Your missiles are puny. No match for my M4A1. And I still have my shotgun. It's probably not doing me a lot of good here. Did I get them all? Oh, now they're on this side. Woo! You missed! I'm the president! Sorry to keep you waiting, Mr. President. The barrier has been opened. Air Force One's launch preparations will be complete soon. Well, looky here. More guests. Well, I guess they won't be voting for you next term. <coughs> the enemy is taking aim at Air Force One. Please Don't you dare. Don't you dare. You leave my plane alone. That's how I'm getting out of here. See, did we get them all? I gotta wait for this thing to like completely turn around. I'm using up a good a good portion of my ammo. Stay in there. Put that thing down. <laughs> so much of the environments are destructible too. Let's see, this does not pause time. That's a sniper rifle. I'll go back to my little handgun here. Bang, 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 bang. Mr. President. How's that for a ticketless chicken? And I'm running in. So yeah, um another day at the Oval Office. Huh, Mr. President? Welcome to Air Force One. So as you can see, this game is uh, ridiculous, um, and that, that's why I'm, I'm so happy that it's finally available in the States. It just takes everything about American patriotism and just slides, slides it up to 11. This is this is absolutely the the type of game that um, I really feel like only the Japanese and their perspective of America could have created, and it's wonderful. Richard, by the name, by the way, is the name of the vice president. Party is just getting started. It's time for my president report. I didn't do great. I didn't do great. I'll have to do better in the next one. I did good in damage. I, I, I got a B. I guess it's not terrible. President Michael Wilson's flight from the White House cemented Vice President Richard Hawke's hold on the country. 
With the Pentagon, Congress, and every other core institution in America firmly in his grasp, Hawk was free to thrust his depravity upon the country in the name of revolution. The land of the free was free no more. But let me tell you the story of a man who stood against that tide, who believed in his own justice even when it seemed the whole country had turned against him. DNN correspondent Peter McDonald. Jody, update me as to the status of the nation. The Pentagon, the United Nations, and all central government institutions have fallen into the hands of the Vice President. Have they? Mr. President, believe in your own justice. I'm sure your father would have told you the same. Jody, how's my schedule look for today? You've got a conference and dinner party at the Japanese Embassy regarding wildlife protection. Oh yeah. Sorry, but I'll have to cancel that. I'm heading out to save America. Can you let them know I won't be able to make it? Yes, Mr. President. Like, that's... <coughs> that's incredible. <laughs> I, I have a dinner party. Tell them I can't make it because I have to save America. Oh, God, what a great game. To my beloved fellow Americans, good evening. This is an announcement from the Government Policy Promotion Department, your American justice and freedom supporter. First of all, what I would like to tell each and every one of you is this. Recent events were not a mere coup d'etat, but rather a revolution to correct the wrongs in the United States of America. To our regret, our nation is in a crisis situation. Since 2010, domestic terrorism problems have increased rapidly. Economic disputes originating from the exhaustion of fossil fuels and the sudden rise in unemployment due to the influx of large-scale immigration. Neither the current president nor the American government took actions to address these various problems. On the contrary, they have filled their own pockets adhering to terrorist cells. To correct this situation, Richard Hawk, Arizona insurrection hero and vice president of the old government and the U.S. military rose to the task at hand. Much like our ancestors did, based in a belief of winning freedom, and based in the belief of an independent war, and based in the belief in this great nation. However, to our regret, an evil to disobey this belief exists in the United States of America too. And here is that evil. This villainous terrorist who first appeared in Washington and began his unjust rampage goes by the alias Metal Wolf. Metal Gear? His current whereabouts are unknown. While all of America will be under martial law until Metal Wolf is caught, please do not confuse the issues at hand. Without fail, the U.S. military elite forces, with a combined strength of 1.5 million, promise to smash this unforgivable evil to pieces. This has been an announcement from the Government Policy Promotion Department, your special remedy for all kinds of evil. That was, that was stupendous. Every moment of this game is a work of art, in my humble opinion. All right, so we finished White House, Mission Objective Reach Air Force One. We now jump to California, San Francisco, where the objective is to destroy all target areas. The coup d'etat army that occupies San Francisco still runs rampant and deprives 780,000 citizens of their freedom. Target areas that the enemy force uses as the base of their military activities are built around the town. Target areas where enemy forces are concentrated are dangerous, but you can weaken their morale by destroying enemy armies. Destroy all target areas, annihilate the enemy force, and make the liberation of San Francisco shine as a beacon of hope in your counteroffensive. This mission goes by the calming... 
Metropolitan Recapture Operation from Cisco Sinus Road. Good luck and Godspeed, Mr. President. I am so excited. All right, so now we have access to the garage. We have money and rare metal. We uh, have a status, our energy pods, uh, so we can equip different things. And uh, we can hold up to eight weapons. And there's like a hundred weapons in the game or something? So when we look through here, we don't have everything uh, yet. But we can develop stuff, investment, and manufacture. So if we do investment, uh, we have one of those. You know, let's see if there's something we can, like, work towards. And again, I've never played this game personally. I've just seen it played, and it's been a bit. So let's do manufacture. Basic handgun with a broad sight. Develop level. Let's see if there's any other things. Mission data. So, I guess the best thing to do would be to manufacture. We can invest, I guess? Advanced research. Oh, that's what we have to do. We have to invest in a category. Oh, I see. So, like, we don't have any specific machine guns, so if we advance research in this... Oh, uh, okay. We advanced research in that, now we can manufacture that gun. I see. Develop this weapon, and the answer to that question is, of course, yes. So now we have that weapon. Uh, now we don't have, like, very much rare metal. So if we go into investment and we look at, like, missile launchers... Like we don't have enough money to do these things, but some of these things are really expensive also. But now we have another weapon. So if I go down here, I can go over to machine guns and equip the uh, MP7. There we go. All right, I figured it out. It took me a minute, but I got there. Let's begin the mission. Metal Wolf Chaos. Apparently the, uh, the game was named because it was thought that American audiences would like having three simple words. And again, this this game ended up never coming out in in the States. Will be the starting point of our counteroffensive. And here's the starting grid. Okay. That's quite a gentlemanly landing, sir, befitting only of a U.S. president. The gentleman in me goes off the clock at 5 p.m. One-liners. And now I'm gonna... take America back! Well, let's take America back. the enemy army by destroying the target areas where the troops have amassed. Destroy all the target areas scattered throughout and take back the town. Now, I'm not entirely sure where my health lies. I believe it's the six dots at the top. Because they never they never really explained any of that. But I'm, just, I'm just basically trying to do as much damage to all this stuff as possible. These things are basically generators. Like, these guys never stop if you don't blow up the trucks. So having the shot... What is this? Bonus funds. Ah, okay. Because we want to continue to acquire rare metals and money. We get rid of this one. Let's take all of this stuff down. We are causing all sorts of, uh, of chaos here. Perfect. Now, I can, I can jump pretty high. Which is nice. I... From what I can see, there's no way to fly. Oh no, you can no, you can fly pretty well. If you uh, since X is like the dodge button, if you jump with A and then you use X, you can actually kind of soar through the air. I'm just destroying all sorts of things, but more importantly, I'm wasting lots of ammo. Uh, let's yeah, let's maybe focus on using right trigger for the small things, and then. Oh, no, you don't. And then when I need it, I've got my big old bazooka. So I can just quickly take out, like, the vehicles. 
see, was there anything else this way? There was something this way, because there's a little red marker on the map. So then I can just go, boop. And that actually didn't take that out. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and, and play it at least a little bit safe. Bonus funds. Woo! Okay, so when you overheat, it, uh, it looks like it starts to take away your, uh, your health. And then there's a, uh, a circular meter also on the top of the screen, but I'm not sure what that does yet. POWs are being transported in that cage. Destroy the cage with light firearms and rescue the people inside. Light firearms, got it. I'll get you out with this light firearm. Some scientists were among the POWs you rescued. They were used to develop new weapons for the military. I like how they're just going, help. Oh, Mr. President. Now the POW can be safely liberated. All in a day's work for the yes, president. San Francisco's cable cars. We can't let them get away with using the symbol of this great American city. <laughs> we can't let them get away with that. I'm just going to keep blowing this stuff up. That's a symbol of this great American city. I mean, so don't get me wrong. Oh, I shot it right through the stupid thing. Stupid. Like, this game is definitely 2004. But the humor... <laughs> the humor lasts a lifetime. And I'm so happy that it does. An offensive augment. Blow it up! I missed. Come on, Mr. President! Cool, 2 chain. Three chain, light arms ammo. Okay, so you are gonna find ammo a little bit as you uh, go through the, the map. What? This game is ridiculous. All right, um... The yellow icons on your radar are designated targets in each area. Destroy each target and blow the area to oblivion. Reinforcements come from the adjacent areas. When there are too many reinforcements, try attacking from another area. You could call it winning by retreating. Never retreat, never surrender! Oh, God. Mr. President, Destroy every target area and annihilate the enemy army. Oh, you know it. That's what I'm about. Hold on. Blow it up! Soldiers are coming in swarms. Shotguns with a wide firing area or machine guns with a high rapid fire rate are effective here. Try out the weapons in your backpack as you roll. Mr. President. The target area has been destroyed. This has been a momentous first job. The target with the spinning antenna is the enemy's communications facility. From this facility, when communications are made, large numbers of reinforcements join the battle. It's really a nuisance, so destroy it first. All right, let's see what else I got here. Um, I have a sniper rifle, which is kind of bizarre. Like... I'm assuming it's powerful. Kind of, but not even really that... I mean, you know, if I need it, I can use it. Um, there's my MP7. Still got my shotgun. Let's go to the MP7 and... I guess this. I can really get some, some stuff done here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Take out these trucks. I'm dodging. Oh, you don't like that very much, do you? This is actually, this is actually working. 
It's almost done. Got it. Nice. Gosh, these trucks. Enough with the trucks. I'm like up under the trucks. Keep strafing, keep strafing, keep strafing, keep strafing. Y'all can't match my hustle. I'm the president. One down, there goes. See, I'm really curious if there's like, I don't know, some sort of like, uh, special move or something, because my thing's all lit up, but I have no idea. Oh my god, can I press the D-pad to save one-liners? Bingo! 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 The answer is yes. I can say bingo. That controls the map. Uh, these obviously control my weapon, and these things just keep coming. Uh, it's that. How do you like me now? Okay, yeah. Click in both sticks. Target area still remains. Patrol the vicinity area well. I had a feeling that that was a special. <laughs> Unfortunately, I figured it out while no one was around. Now I really could have used it. Well, if it isn't the pride of the United States military. M1 Abrams. I never thought they would join the fight. All right, let's rock and roll, baby. Zookas are effective against the tough tank armor. Please don't hold back on using the weapons in your backpack. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to. Oh, I got it. I gotta fly away because I, I really need to use um, big weapon for this. Big weapon. All right, they're still up there, doing their little thing, doing their little thing. You ready for this? Oh yeah, you don't like the missiles, huh? Missiles are coming. Still strafing. Jumping and strafing. Oh, it cannot keep up. Flipped it! Looks pretty good. Are there more tanks? There's some more of these guys. I'm already building up to my next uh, special, so that's good. Now, some of these guys have missile launchers. I'm totally destroying all of San Francisco. And I apologize. But I'm trying, you have to understand, I'm trying to save the country. Using up a lot of ammo also. I feel, I, I definitely feel incent, that man, everything is destructible, dear God. It, I feel very incentivized to just like keep shooting though. Nice. All right, here's the target. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, I have to... That's right, I have very limited time once I get close to those. Come on. No bullet. Oh, shoot! That's real bad. Let's switch over to... MP7 and handgun, I guess. For at least a little bit. Because so I, I have some more targets over here. This actually, this actually works pretty well. And I'm almost to my special again. Keep shooting, keep shooting, keep shooting, keep shooting. There we go. Come on, baby. Man, they don't got nothing on me. I don't know what this mech is made out of. Presidentanium. Something special. Yeah, these are just basically, like, the same sort of generators that you would find in, like, uh, like the Gauntlet games. Destroy them one at a time. 
one after the other. I can fly! Oh, sup? Hold on. I almost have my special. Getting close. I may have to destroy to get my special, but either way, I actually... I'm, with, with the little guns, I'm actually doing pretty good on this. Oh, you like me now? Man. Man, the special works really well. You just basically auto-destroy anything in your way. And yes, there's a ton of stuff that is destructible in this game. It's ridiculous. All right, let's... Proceed down here. There's another one of those towers. Sup, guys? How y'all doing? Just working on saving the world. No big deal. Or I guess really just the country. The rest of the world is fine with the, the coup that happened. I'm out of MP7 ammo. Okay, let me hide back here for a sec. Sure. There we go. Oh, I'm, I'm looking pretty now. At the beginning, I felt like I had a lot of ammo. But honestly, now I'm not so sure. Because I've been using so much of it. And I've been trying to hold on to at least the... Uh... Oh my god, there's a lot of stuff. Jesus. I've been trying to hold on to, at the very least, the, uh, um... ...forces have usurped a building, making it a target. The building was opened two years ago on April 25th. It's named the Haokan Denkai China Building. Each season is decorated with gorgeous lights. Their Christmas tree top, Mr. President. There are three areas remaining. Just a bit more, Mr. President. I'm working on it. Yeah, I held on to my missiles, because I felt like, out of everything, I would probably need those the most. Targets are enemy headquarter installations. The morale of the troops is rising due to the HQ installation. Destroy the HQ facilities first and eradicate their will to fight. I'm working on that eradication. That missile alert. I'm like, yeah, I'm aware. God, there's a lot of targets. I'm trying to focus on this. I'm reducing their will to fight. One thing at a time, one thing at a time. There's one thing. Shield unit. Come on, baby. At this rate, I will actually run out of shotgun ammo at some point. I'm trying to make sure that I'm as close as possible because I am using a shotgun. I'm getting the maximum damage on these hits. Come on, baby. Almost got it. So, am I just shooting? It's literally just the building. It's like, take down the entire building. And I'm like, uh, are you sure? The built the whole building? And I think the answer is yes, actually. I don't think my shotgun can can get up there so well. Let's Oh, I got some I got some some more missile ammo for this. I need to blow this stuff up. Blow it up! This sign is in the way. Can I blow up this sign? Yeah I can. You can freaking destroy anything. And I still have like 2,000 bullets. So I just need to like work my way around this thing and just continue to just smoke it. Because now that I've got the, the big part done, it's just a matter of like destroying the, the little part. I wish I was, I wish I was higher up in the air though. Also, I keep getting stuck on this sign. Yeah, no problem, I'm the best. Thank you for destroying the area. 
It looks like you're gonna receive a lovely present. We have a boss battle. Hostage loss. That boy needs a presidential diet. I guess he's had too much junk food. Yeah, that kid come too. Make junk food out of him, Mr. President. Fortunately, he real slow. And I am pretty pretty agile. Kind of. And it takes that it takes that turret a long time to turn around. He hopes to himself. Actually, I'm actually I'm, a, I'm taking some hits. I'm just continuing to use my uh, my missile launcher. Oh, now I'm just running along. Oh, how are you going to stop me? You cannot stop me when I'm just running alongside of. Oh, he's fast. He's fast. He's fast. Gotta keep firing. Don't get hit by that thing. That seems bad. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The missiles are a little slow, but they're doing the job. About got it. Yeah! Wow! What a perfect display of your talents, Mr. President! Not really, Jody. Nothing to get excited about. So humble, Mr. President. Oh, God! What? I really didn't ex I thought that, that would be the end of the mission, and instead they just dropped me back here. I'm like, really? Can you guys not? How, what if you didn't, though? Did I leave? I did leave. Yeah, there is a target. I can't jump up here. I think this must be my last one. That's interesting. The, the, um... The boss must be associated with the big headquarters thing and not with the amount of targets that you've destroyed be my guess. Got a few more tanks here. Which I think I just somehow shoved through the wall. 2004 Xbox games, ladies and gentlemen. Got two missiles left. No bullet. Well, then it's a handgun right now because I'm in the middle of fighting this thing. I'm just standing on it, shooting at it. What are you gonna do? You ain't gonna do nothing. Oh, the other one's back. Okay, I should really probably, yeah. Yeah, shotgun will help me finish this up. Shoot it. God, shoot this thing. Oh, there's the tower. Yeah, I'm going to take this out pretty quick. And I think this might be the last thing. I have my special, but just in case there's, like, one thing remaining, I'm holding on in case I, I, I'm going to want that. But I don't think so. Where is that? At least it'll be easy to destroy because I have my special. I just don't know where it is. Way. Zoom out the map. It's just this direction. I still got people shooting at me, but that's fine. It's warning me about overheating, and I'm like, eh, it's fine. I believe that that's my health. Oh, I must have missed one, like, in the early part of the map? Like, back here? Because the, the stuff that you're supposed to deal with is yellow. And I think I just straight up missed something that I wasn't paying attention to. 
Well, hopefully it'll become apparent as I run back this uh, this way. Because I don't currently see any... Oh, no, there is something. Yep, it's just a little bit over here in front of me. And I'm going to send it to hell real quick. Hi, guys! How you like me now? The enemy forces in San Francisco have been annihilated. Nice work, Mr. President. Sure. All in a day's work, huh, Mr. President? Nope. We've only just begun. The fight will continue. As long as the America inside my heart is still alive. My lord. Well, we did it. Did we do a little better this time? Got an A on KO. A C on damage. A D on rush combo. And a D... Oh, no. It's going to pull our grade down. We did, we did worse that time. We got a C. Well, that's a shame. Obtained a new weapon. We, well, we made that. Saving the citizen has increased your economy rating in San Francisco. Saving the scientists has increased your tech rating in San Francisco. My lord. It's ridiculous. A sharp rebuke of cannon fire echoed across San Francisco as President Wilson commenced his counteroffensive against the Vice President's regime. The liberation of the city struck a chord in the hearts of a small band of patriots whose alabaster souls still believed in the freedom that Richard Hawk had stripped away. A movement had been born, and it wanted Hawk to get the hell out of Dodge. The wings of justice were spreading like an eagle and getting ready to soar. Mr. President, the Information Management Department received an email that might interest you. An email? Actually, it's a sound file. Play it for me. Yes, boss. Are seeking volunteers to oppose the Kumadov forces. What your response from fellow sympathizers? The sound quality is terrible. Could you try and contact the person who sent the email? Sure, of course, boss. Maybe America's faith in freedom hasn't faded just yet. And Jody, I'm taking back our country going from west to east. Go west. I mean, east, young man. Huh? Mr. President, we got a message from the Information Management Department. The Kudada forces are making an announcement on national television. Connect me. Oh, I'm so excited. There's going to be another DNN piece. Dear fellow Americans, good evening. This is an announcement from the Government Policy Promotion Department, where the password is overflowing love and daily benevolence. Today, we bring you a most unfortunate bulletin. Last evening, the city of San Francisco suffered extensive damage at the hand of Metal Wolf, who suddenly appeared in addition to slaughtering unresisting citizens, this heinous terrorist took citizens hostage and made an unjust demand for the release of violent criminals and the sum of $500 million. This vicious act could easily be the worst in U.S. history. Please wait for a while. Metal Wolf's pilot is meaner than Satan himself. And we will not permit him to get away with acts like this. We Americans will never yield to such evil. We Americans will obtain our own justice. Although martial law continues, my fellow Americans, please bear with our situation. To defend this lovable nation, let's lead the brave fight together. This has been an announcement from the Government Policy Promotion Department, where our motto, Justice Over Theory, is your motto. Brilliant. We've been made public enemy number one. 
How about seeking exile or asking for help from other nations? No, I'm the president. I can't be the one to start a war in this country. I'll be the one to wage the war. Mr. President. Hey, Jody, update me on the situation in the West. Dear God. All right, so we're going to go in and end, end it here, but you can see that uh, after we finish that, we have options of going to Alcatraz, Beverly Hills, Phoenix, or the Grand Canyon. Now, I played this on uh, PC, again, courtesy of, uh, of the publisher, which I appreciate. This game is also available now on PS4 and Xbox One. This is a very recent release, kind of. Unless you talk about the 2004 release, but I think it's spectacular that we finally have access to it because it's been too hard to enjoy. For one, it was Japanese exclusive, but even if you wanted to, uh, to pick up a copy for yourself, the game was expensive. And uh, now you can pick it up, uh, you know, on a digital storefront for much cheaper than buying an actual disc. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll consider uh, picking up this amazing, <laughs> amazingly patriotic... American title. Uh, if you do pick it up for the PC platform, uh, consider using Humble Bundle. I have a link on screen now and also in the description. If you buy the game through that link, you will be able to play as the incredible mech piloting president himself, and you will also be helping out Mao, myself, and the channel, which we appreciate. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week for another Stephen Plays First 20.